OK, so let's say you've got two classes of students that have just sat at a test. They've sat the same test, and these are their percentage scores. OK, so your first class has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people in it. And the second class has nine people in it, uh, which would sound brilliant, <laughs> but uh, uh, not always the case. So um, with those class sets of data, you want to compare them. OK, so one way of comparing them would be to look at the median, the lower quartile, upper quartile, and subsequently the interquartile range. OK, so it suits uh, using that because the data is in order already. So I can dive straight in and find those out. So I'm going to build up a little table of results so that we've got uh, class A and class B. We're going to look at the median first. Then we're going to find the lower quartile, the upper quartile, and consequently the interquartile range. Okay. So here's my table. Right. So first of all, the median. Okay. So the class A, I've got eight bits of data. So the median will appear here. Okay, which will be halfway between 63 and 82. So what I can do is I can add 63 and 82 together and divide that by 2, and that gets me the halfway point, and that's 72.5. Okay, so that's the median for A. Now, the lower quartile for A is the median of the lower half, ignoring the median and up. So the median of those four numbers, which is going to be halfway between the 53 and the 55, so just 54. The upper quartile is the median of the top half, those four numbers there. So the upper quartile is halfway between 87 and 90, which would be 88.5. So the interquartile range is the upper quartile, take away the lower quartile. So 88.5, take away 54, gets us 34.5. OK. So what this tells us is that on average, the student scored 72.5%. And the uh, range of values of the middle 50% is 34 0.5%. OK? So that is what that data is telling us. So now let's have a look at set B, class B. So we've got nine bits of data. So the median is going to be the middle value. OK, which is going to be that 69 there. So this is the median value. Now, the lower quartile is the median of the bottom half, excluding the median that's already been found. So the median of those four numbers. So halfway between 47 and 62. So 47 plus 62 divided by 2 is 54.5. The upper quartile is the median of the top half, excluding the median. So the upper quartile is halfway between 73 and 84. 73 plus 84 divided by 2 is 78.5. So if we do the upper quartile, take away the lower quartile, we get 24. So for class B, we've got an average score of 69. and 24% between, well, that represents the range of the middle 50%. So what do we take away from that? Well, what we can then say are two statements, one that compares the median. OK, so what you want to do from this is really come away with two statements, one that compares the medians and one that compares the interquartile ranges. 
So for the medians, what we can say is that on average, class A performed better in the test than class B as their the median uh, percentage was 72.5 which is 3.5% uh, larger than class B's median. Okay, so that clearly identifies that A performed better on average than class B. However, okay, now we've got the interquartile range. What can we say about that? Well, Class A has a larger interquartile range um, than Class B. So Class B were more consistent with their scores as their interquartile range of 24 Okay, is 10.5% uh, less than class A's. So the smaller the interquartile range, so if you imagine this as a box plot, a box and whisker diagram, okay, the box is going to be thinner. And so their scores are more consistent. And you can see it from the data itself, because you can see that this 62, 68, 69, 72, 73 are tightly compacted. Whereas for class A, you've kind of got a split between those who are in the 40s to 60s and those in the 80s and 90s. Okay, so there's a clear split, as you can see. So that is how we can compare those two sets of data. So if you're comparing the median and interquartile ranges, that's really what you need to be able to identify.